I wanted to talk about this recent Tucker Carlson segment because I like Tucker on a lot of levels. He's one of the few broadcasters out there talking about Julian Assange. He's one of the few broadcasters who brings on guys like Thomas Massey. He's one of the few broadcasters I saw talk about the Kennedy assassination and the recent um, things that have come to light around that. So I really like Tucker these days. Um, you know, back in the day, I was one of those people who I was a huge Daily Show fan. And I think The Daily Show, I was thinking about this today, The Daily Show was great in its prime when Jon Stewart was on there because it called out the media groupthink and made fun of it, made fun of the groupthink and the media and the ridiculousness of it. And and maybe a lot of that was his writers, I don't know, at the time. But now he's part of that groupthink. I see him on, you know, his, the, I'm subscribed to The Problem with Jon Stewart's new podcast. And he's he sounds just like the rest of them now. He's not critically like you know i think recently he did a thing on vaccine skepticism um but anyway the whole point of me bringing up john stewart is back in the day i remember when john stewart ripped tucker carlson apart on crossfire and made him look stupid but nowadays tucker carlson is the one who's actually doing some some worthwhile journalism and speaking truth to power and john stewart is the shill who's like pinning medals on nazis from the ukraine um so Tucker did this segment about Antifa in Atlanta. And what I've noticed about conservative commentators, basically they think in political terms. So that they see these protests and they see people burning cars and like burning down police stations and they, they don't think this could just be regular people. They're like, no, that's Antifa. It's a terrorist organization. So, you know, um, and, and, the left does this now too. Everything that's against as alt right or white supremacists, they did it with the Canadian truckers, or whatever. But I think Tucker's interesting. His partisan is showing in this one because basically what he what he what he claims, which I'll kind of walk through and why it's ridiculous, is that Antifa is an arm of the Democratic Party, and they come out when you know the Democrats need some political leverage, like. Really, Tucker? Like, you really, you really believe that? <laughs> okay, the facts are the Biden administration is as pro-cop, if not more pro-cop than the Trump administration. They're not on Antifa's side. They're not, try they're not against cops at all. Here's, so the White House's own website has a thing like fund the police. When the COVID funds, when there were extra COVID funds, Biden famously was like, hey, let's give all this extra COVID money to cops. And then you have the January 6th thing. And this is where Tucker gets really ridiculous is he tries to like paint this picture of the protesters in Atlanta as rich kids. And he points to this kid who um, from a recent, uh, well, let's watch it. Sense. The key democratic demographic is upscale professionals and their lunatic children. So this kid grew up in a $2 million mansion, pictures of him on his father's yacht. He was arrested on domestic terrorism charges a month ago in Atlanta. He assaulted police officers and terrorized residents. Is he still there? No, he got out of jail immediately. So then apparently he went again to an Antifa riot. This weekend in Atlanta, police say Carol went out and committed some more domestic terrorism, including arson. So why does this kid, the rich kid, get off when the people who showed up at the Capitol, consistent with their constitutional rights to complain about what really did seem like fraud in the 2020 election, they went to jail. Well, have you ever checked the percentage of January 6th defendants who've experienced a personal bankruptcy? Much higher than average. These were actual working class people, deeply frustrated, completely out of options and unheard by everyone in Washington. It's not an excuse for the vandalism some of them committed, but it tells you it's a very different group of people. They didn't go to Middlebury or some other liberal arts madrasa. So basically what he says is this kid is Antifa and he has a rich dad that got him out of jail, which, okay, good for this kid. And you know, maybe his views are to the left, but all that speaks to is the corruptness of our judicial system. The kid has a rich dad, so he got out of jail. A lot of, a lot of people don't have rich dads, regardless of their political party. And then he goes on to say that the January 6 protesters were more working class people. And so he's trying to create this wedge between January 6 protesters and between the recent police protesters in Atlanta, 
when they're really kind of the same people and they kind of have the same gripe that power's out of control and we need to check it, you know? And that's what frustrates me about media today is even someone like Tucker who's getting a lot of stuff right is looks ridiculous on this because he's sitting here going like, oh, it's Antifa. Ah. Yeah, Tucker, it's not Antifa. It's people who are fed up with police being the judge, jury, and executioner. So then he goes on to talk about the January 6th thing. And, and you know, I talked about this at the beginning, but it's just ridiculous to see that, you know, in one, se in one sense, Tucker supports, you know, cops being the ultimate authority, being able to murder whoever they want in Atlanta. But then in, in, in the January 6th protest, he's he, i'm sure he's made a good case that ashley babbitt didn't deserve to be killed you know but but he'll turn around and say this guy in atlanta who was you know protesting tied to a tree or whatever the guy was doing did deserve to be killed and that the cops are okay to call him a terrorist and 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 so it just it just exposes how tribal and ridiculous our media is it, and and how th rather than show a level of in intellectual consistency they will shill for their tribe at all costs even when it makes them look dumb you know and the, the left has been doing this a lot more than people like tucker recently but i wanted to call tucker out for this because you know uh it's ridiculous it's stupid so